That's right, guys. I'm back with another video. And if you guys didn't know, in my free time, I like to look through different game files of games I play. It's interesting to see what kind of strange things you can find, or things that might have gone unused, or just little easter eggs that the game devs might have hit for fun. One thing that I thought would be really interesting was looking at the older versions of Minecraft. Using the Betacraft launcher, which is a custom launcher to access older versions of Minecraft not found in the launcher, I was able to get my hands on some really interesting versions of Minecraft containing a lot of strange files within them. Even some newer versions contain things that not many people know about, so combining that with a little more research I did on the internet, I've created a little list of weird things I found in the Minecraft files. As most of you probably already know, in the in-depth versions of Minecraft, there are 3D models of characters called Steve, Black Steve, Beast Boy, and Rana. These characters are not really fitting in the Minecraft style, so they were removed a couple updates later. Now, today Steve still remains, looking much more akin to how we're used to seeing him, but did you know that the, there were other characters that also looked like how Steve looked like now? That's right, in the earlier versions of Minecraft Classic, specifically in version 0.0.12a-01, you can actually find what appears to be an older version of Black Steve, Beast Boy, and Rana, all in the style that we're familiar with. While these textures go unused, they're still in the files, which leads me to believe that maybe Notch was planning adding them as different variants of the Steve character we see in the pre-classic version. The strange part about them is that they appear to just be recolored Steves. For example, Rana is just Steve with red hair and a green shirt instead of having the frog hat that she usually has. So maybe the Steve recolors were just placeholders for the actual textures of the characters, but who knows. Now I'm not going to beat around the bush here. We all know Hero Brian is fake, alright? So why is he on the list? Well, I assume most of you know about that infamous video where someone spots Hero Brian in their Minecraft world. Well, in that video, it's pretty clear to see that Hero Brian isn't actually Hero Brian, but rather just a retextured painting. I can see how a 5 year old might fall for this, or even a 20 year old adult but the point is it's clearly fake. I assume that Nachi eventually found this video and thought it was pretty hilarious that someone faked to hear Brian's hiding, because in Alpha 1.0.18 underscore 01, one of the paintings in the painting files is actually that of Hero Brian. Similar to the Black Steve, Beast Boy, and Rana textures, the Hero Brian texture goes unused, and in the next version of the game it was removed. Maybe Notch was adding it to scare kids who were digging around the game's computer files so he could trick them into thinking Herobrine was haunting their computers. Who knows? But still a very interesting little easter egg that I found. Alright, here we have an interesting fact about the newer versions of the game. In a 1.15 Java snapshot, 19w43a to be exact, one of the sound files was actually an older demo of Pigstep, which wouldn't be officially released until 1.16 in June. Now, the demo version isn't as long compared to the final version, so I'll just play it in its entirety. Now obviously it's a bit rough around the edges, as I personally find the horns to be a bit obnoxious here, and some of the instruments are offbeat actually. But it's still very interesting to hear this alternate version of Pick Step compared to the version we all know and love. I don't know, it's just interesting to hear these more MIDI sounds, it gives it a more raw feeling in my opinion. I don't know, finding these demos and rough tracks of songs can be really interesting, as it gives a look into the process of how these songs are made, or how an older version of a song might have sounded before it got changed. It's pretty cool. Some of the more interesting things that I found were older versions of the Nether Dimension in Minecraft. In Minecraft InDev, a Hell World theme was created, which was a sort of precursor to the Nether. The early precursor included a lot of differences compared to the normal world, including lava oceans, a more red hellish theme, but for some reason it had grass and trees. Another interesting thing is that the Hell theme would spawn hostile mobs or whatever mob was in that whichever version of the game. 
so you would have to try and survive it. The health theme was eventually removed in a later version of the game. The Nether, however, would make a return releasing in the Halloween update of Minecraft, aka Alpha 1.2.0. This alpha version was not the first time the Nether has been seen, however, as in Alpha 1.0.18 underscore 02, a leaked build of the Nether was actually found in the files, and some programmers managed to even find a way to get it back into the game. The way you would actually go to the Nether is completely different. I guess Notch didn't add the Nether portals yet, so instead you had to type the command I want cheese in all caps with no spaces, and it would load you into the Nether, which is kind of strange if you ask me. In this version of the Nether, there are all sorts of differences. Like for one, the Nether rack wasn't added yet, so instead it uses mossy cobblestone as a placeholder, and Soul Sand's placeholder is Diamond Ore, which is pretty crazy. The zombie pigmen were also different in this version. Instead of just being pigmen, just regular old pigmen, these were basically just the same as zombie pigmen. They behaved exactly the same, but the only difference really is just that the texture wasn't all rotten. The ghast also looked different, with his texture being a squid, which is pretty funny. You may think that this is just a placeholder texture, and while yes it is, it's still a bit odd considering that the squid wasn't actually added until beta 1.2, while this is alpha 1.1.18. Which leads me to believe that Notch was planning on adding the squids in an earlier version and just use this earlier model of a squid as a ghast instead. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of interesting beta features shown in this early version of the Nether. It's pretty interesting to take a look at the process of making these things. You see all these placeholders like the Squid Ghast or the Mossy Cobblestone Nether Rack. It's really fascinating. So obviously I'm gonna have to censor a lot of this, but yeah, there are some inappropriate messages in the older versions of Minecraft when switching to other languages. Let's start with Snapshot 11w51a where when switching to Canadian French and then going to the multiplayer tab, it shows a not-so-nice message telling the player, well, this. Oh my God. Now, obviously I can't show this, but you can fill in the blanks. How to slip through the cracks? I have no idea. In the same snapshot, another message was seen in Canadian French. This time, it's not on the menu, but instead you have to collect wood and craft planks to make a stick. The stick says, go take a, um, poop. I guess you could say that. Oh my God! Not very tasteful if you ask me. How this got past Mojang? I again have no idea. The third incident regarding the language and the most vulgar one is 12w04a, where if you switch the language to Afrikaans, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Uh, sorry if I butchered it. But basically, it says a very kind and warm message in place of the single player button. Similar to the other ones, I can't really show this one, but you can make a pretty good guess as to what it is. This must have set Mojang over the edge because there hasn't seemed to be another instance like this ever since. How this managed to happen three times? Well, I might have the answer actually. Apparently it has something to do with the fact that the languages were created by outside sources and then given to Mojang, so it's possible that some prankster thought it was funny to add these messages, but still, how it got past Mojang? I don't know. I mean, I guess it was a snapshot and not a full release, so... I guess it's kind of excusable, but still. Okay, now after reading the title, you probably think I'm going insane, but this is an actually real thing in the game files. For some reason, in a 1.15 pre-release, a pea shooter head was found in the game files, as well as this inconspicuous pea item. These were never seen in the games and were only in files similar to the Herobrine painting and Pickstep demo. I still think it's pretty hilarious that this giant piece of copyright infringement was left in the game, and Phoenix SC even made a video about it. I tried to look through the files to see what I could find, but to no avail, so either it's fake or Mojang made sure to hide it really well. Or I just looked in the wrong version. If this is real, then it might have been a dev playing around with a 3D modeling software like Blockbench and then accidentally saving the P and P shooter texture into the folder, but your guess is as good as mine. Something I did manage to find, however, was in a 1.16 snapshot 20w05, where a geometry dash game file was placed inside the jar file. I'm not joking, for some reason, a texture containing all the geometry dash icons was placed in the Minecraft jar file. My theory for this is that a developer was working on their own texture pack for geometry dash but accidentally placed this folder into the Minecraft jar file. One way to back this up is that one of the icons that's normally supposed to be a Lenny face is instead replaced with Freddy Fazbear, making this a double copyright infringement. Honestly, I think it's pretty funny how these very much copyrighted things got into Minecraft, but as seen with the language situation, Mojang is not very good at catching these things. 
Yep, you read that title right. Peter Griffin was inside the Guardian texture. This isn't a joke. For a single snapshot, a Peter Griffin image was somehow placed in the Guardian texture. In the 1.8 snapshot 14w24a, if you went into the entities folder in the game files and looked for the Guardian texture, the Guardian actually had a Peter Griffin image slapped right on top of it. The weirdest part is that the Guardian wouldn't actually be added until the next snapshot, meaning that you couldn't actually see this in game. So I created this texture pack with a Peter Griffin Guardian so we can take a look at this and it is beautiful. I tried to see if I could find more regarding this Peter Griffin texture because of how funny it is. I actually managed to track down the person responsible for it. On r slash Minecraft, I found this post from this guy named Hoptat259, who claims that he was the one that placed the Peter Griffin. Here's how the post goes. Alright, so to make sure everyone's on the same page, I recently entered into a contest as a pixel artist on Discord. I had been making pixel art for 5 years up until that point, and I figured it was time for people to know about my big talent, and so that my parents wouldn't think I was a sad loser. The big day came and all the judges and all the contestants were all joined in the discord call, voting on the different artists. When they got to my art, I showed what I created and the judges loved it. Something I noticed is while two of the judges had English accents, one of them sounded more Swedish. I didn't think too much of it since I was just happy that they liked my art. After that, it was finally time for the winner and it turned out I had actually won the contest. And my prize was one grand as well as a free drawing tablet which was pretty awesome. That's when one of the judges, the Swedish one, told the other judges that he wanted to talk with me in private. We joined the call and one of the judges told me that he was actually Jeff from Minecraft and that he wanted me to help work on his texture called a Guardian, which was going to come out in a later update. Obviously it was a good idea to trust this stranger who claimed to work on Minecraft and I took the job. I began working on the pixel art for the Guardian and then I came up with what you now see today. Jeff said that he loved this and that he took the drawing and said that it would be in the game sometime soon. I was so excited to see millions of players that would finally get to see my art. It was amazing. The joy didn't last long however as when I got the beta build of the game, they, they gave beta builds to whoever worked on the game, I was shocked at what I saw. I couldn't believe it. My texture had Jeb's signature on it for some reason. Oh my god! I couldn't believe he betrayed me like that. I was so sad and disappointed that I snuck into Mojang headquarters, went onto the beta build, and changed the texture of the Guardian to Peter Griffin. I guess the devs must not have seen this change, so they released a snapshot as is with Peter Griffin on the Guardian, and that's pretty much how things went down. Now as you can see, that was a very long reddit post, and turns out that Jeb actually took credit for Hoptat's design, which is really mean in my opinion. If I were Hoptat, I would have probably also put a Peter Griffin onto the Guardian, but that's just me. It's honestly so sad knowing that Hoptat wasn't credited for his work on the Guardian, just goes to show you what a crazy world we live in where Peter Griffin on a Minecraft mob was all because of a top 10 anime betrayal from Jeb. This is very disappointing and I'll no longer be supporting Jeb after hearing this. When 1.15.1 was released, it seemed like a normal bug fix update with a couple of bugs here and there and whatnot. But apparently, there was a change that accidentally made it into the final release. Since nobody would ever listen to Disc 11 in their right minds, nobody caught the fact that Disc 11 had actually been altered in 1.15.1 pre-release 1. Instead of playing the usual creepy sound that it plays, it instead played the strange buzzing noise. I'm gonna play the noise, but it's a bit loud so you might want to turn the volume down. Like stated earlier, this somehow made it into the final release of the game, since nobody ever listened to Disc 11. I tried to find more info on this, but of course, since nobody listens to Disc 11, I couldn't find any Reddit posts about it, or any articles on it, or anything like that. But luckily, it did get fixed in 1.15.2 pre-release 1, as seen on the official Minecraft wiki, but it's still odd that it somehow managed to make it into the full game and not just a snapshot. Regarding the disc noise itself, I tried to find out what this buzzing noise was. It was quite loud and ear grating, so I wanted to see if I could hear it more clearly if I turned it up. Sadly, I didn't hear anything out of the ordinary. I then tried to reverse it to see if there was maybe a secret message, but nothing happened either. That's when I realized something. You see, when you put a sound through a spectrogram, it can sometimes create an image. This is actually what another Minecraft file did, so I put the audio in a spectrogram, and here's what I found.
Hey guys, so um, yeah, pretty much everything on that video was fake. It wasn't real at all. It was just, it was just a fake video. It was ironic. So hopefully you didn't get fooled by any of these. And even if you did, hopefully you just you still found it funny and you realized as the video went on because I made it so that it got more absurd as it went on. So hopefully you caught on to that by like the Peter Griffin texture one, because that, that one was pretty obvious. You could tell that was obviously a joke, but. Anyway, yeah, I had fun making this video. Hopefully, you didn't get too invested into it because none, most of it's not real. Some of it, like, is real, but it's just I just built a lie off of that real fact. So I'll just put in the description everything that's real and everything that's fake. So yeah, so yeah. Um, sorry, I did that. Sorry, I Josh Hutcherson jump scared you. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, see ya.